So we're here with Adrian Lim, who's a dermatologist here in Sydney, and we're going to talk to him about some basic skincare tips or how to look after our skin. Thank you for joining us, Adrian. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> now, firstly, I have to put it out there. My dad's a really firm believer in the KISS principle, keeping it simple, stupid. Now, <laughs> with skincare, a lot of people think it's a very complex subject and that, you know, we've got to do this or do that or not apply this or not apply that. It's simple, isn't it? Absolutely right, yeah. I, I'm afraid I have to agree with your dad. <laughs> Good. <laughs> He'll be happy about that. <laughs> well, the, the skin is a remarkably robust uh, um, you know, organ in many ways. So, you know, a lot of problems arise from actually uh, not looking after it. Um, the main thing is having a gentle cleanser uh, mm -hmm. so that you don't overstrip the skin. Uh, secondly, you moisturize it. Mm -hmm. And in Australia, you would like to have a, a moisturizer with some sunscreen uh, to mm -hmm. prevent uh, photo aging. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, looking after the entire body, that's obviously essential as well. It's not just a matter of looking after this half because we still have 90 or 80 percent of skin to look after. It's also important to treat the bottom half of our skin. Is that true? That's right. Yeah, the the cleansing involves um, you know the whole body. So mm -hmm. you know I'd recommend a gentle cleanser. Uh, for face and body, you can use soap for uh, underarm and you know the groin mm -hmm. areas of feet. Um, but there are differences in uh, uh, skin type, you know, ranging from the scalp uh, mm -hmm. right down to the underarms, mm -hmm. down to the feet. Mm -hmm. So you know they they all you you may encounter slightly different problems. For example, um, you know on the um, uh, face, there's a little bit more sebaceous glands, mm -hmm. so people tend to get breakouts in the face, mm -hmm. uh, not on the arms, for example, mm -hmm. and in the armpits or uh, you know, groin areas, you, there's more sweat glands and you, you might uh, have problems with, uh, you know, body odor and so on, so there's you no know, deodorants and it's also more sensitive. Yeah. So, you know, people may react to some of the uh, commercial, um, you know, perfume deodorants. So a, a, a low allergenic um, um, product would be useful. And we all know about tinea in the feet. Mm. Well, uh, here we have the, the powder, feet powder. Have you used that yet? Well, I haven't got tinea, but <laughs> no, I would I recommend that to you. I, uh... I haven't got tinea, but I use the QB feet powder to prevent tinea. That's a good that's idea, Rachel. I haven't got tinea. <laughs> but let's get over that. <laughs> um, now, I was um, listening earlier when you were giving a talk, and a lady was asking about her problematic skin, and sometimes she gets whiteheads uh, around the chin and the nose area. <clears throat> I've had problems with, with that in the past. Um, now, you were mentioning just keeping a, a basic um, routine yes. with moisturisers, cleansers, and, and using things that are specific to your skin type. Yes. Um, beauty treatments, do they work as well? Uh, well, let's go back to the first with the whiteheads. That, that, that is really the uh, blockage of the pores. And the reason it's white is because the, the blockage is quite deep mm. and uh, you've got um, skin growing over it. So it, it looks white. The, the whiteness is actually the skin cells compressed into a little, uh, um, you know, little cyst. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you go to a beautician, you know, when that's expressed, you get this little tiny, uh, you know, pinpoint blob coming up. Mm -hmm. So th it's a result of blocked pores. Now, people with white heads should probably um, uh, not, not over moisturize. They should use a uh, moisturizer with um, oil free, mm -hmm. oil free uh, uh, oil labeling. Free, fragrance free. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and, and as far as beauty therapy is concerned, there, there is some role in that, you know, for extraction of, um, mm. you know, whiteheads and, mm. um, you know, uh, facials and so on. Mm. That, that's okay. Yeah, because for me, like traveling uh, as a model, I've always been working, obviously, with a lot of makeup on my face, and it's always had trouble breathing all the time. So I've really found that a lot of whiteheads have been caused from that. But I've noticed that once I've got onto QV, it's just it feels so fresh, and I've, I'm I'm not finding that it's trapping or clogging and it's it's still enabling my skin to breathe so and that, that's, that, that's exactly that, yeah. right yes so it's yes. complex on the inside but easy on the outside yes i, I recommend uh, the kiwi products for you know precisely this sort of condition mm. the oil free range is is, is uh, very good um and it, i think it's reasonably priced and very mm. accessible mm. Yeah. it's perfect for our climate right now <laughs> that, 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 that's right yes yeah thank you so much for joining me you're welcome <laughs> thank you rachel <laughs>